Guys, don't forget that I have the podcast called Lawn Care Talk. You see what it looks like, what the picture looks like right there. So we're getting this day started off right. Breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. Um, I like to cook up three, four eggs for breakfast. Um, put some cheese in them at the very end as you're scrambling them up. Man, it makes for a great breakfast. Y'all should try it out sometime. It's awesome. Um, we're going to get this day started. It's going to be a long, long care vlog with a lot of action and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be really good. Um, Got to get this truck fueled up though. don't know how that goes. So we're over here at the first property. As you can see, this grass is tall over here like it is on all my yards. But trimming up all these shrubs. It's hard to tell on camera, but all of them had a pretty good amount of growth on them. So we got we to gotta keep those looking nice. Um, that's what we do so this Milwaukee hedge trimmer is awesome I will not buy another gas hedge trimmer it's just not worth the money that the gas ones cost it's not worth the trouble and time of working on them um, especially for hedge trimmers electric is What's up guys? Man, uh, yeah, I love, uh, I love watching the vlog videos. They're hard to make, um, but I know I love watching them when all you guys make them. And so I want to try to, uh, make more of them instead of other kind of videos. I'll make other kind of videos too, but it's back and trailer up. But something I want to talk to you guys about, you know, is man, we're kind of in this, starting to get into that transition season where it's uh the heat has tapered off some man like literally has been so hot here in georgia all you guys in the south understand but over the last couple months man like it's so hot sometimes if i tr try to film something the camera it just like gets so hot that it just shuts down and i can't even can't even film stuff um and it's just been so hot and the holidays here at the lake are, are nuts and so man i'm i'm thankful that we're past the three main lake holidays and uh today is i mean it's kind of rainy today but we're gonna push through anyway and it's kind of uh i don't know it's probably like uh i mean it's still kind of muggy and kind of warm but still it's probably like 80 or something which is nice compared to what we've been had so it feels cool it's probably and it's only nine o'clock in the morning you know because i already done the already finished that property but uh you know it's uh it's definitely you know the edge is off temperature wise compared to what we had and uh so that's awesome um i don't really to be honest with you guys i don't really love the whole leaves you know because the leaves are so bad here you know with all the trees that we have the leaf cleanups are kind of not my favorite um even though it's more you know it's hot and everything in the summer i love how that green grass looks and looks so nice and all that even even though there's a lot of weed work and you got to trim the bushes all the time and all the edging you know and all the stuff i don't know i still i like it i like the green grass but you know we're gonna do some cool leaf cleanup videos too i plan to and i apologize that it's dark but it's just kind of one of those rainy days so it's kind of is what it is for this lighting here right but all right, so sorry for rambling, but what I'm actually talking about is I think you guys, I think all of us need to have two of everything just because you never know what's going to happen. The other day, and this is why I'm talking about this because it's what's going on in my business. The other day, like a year ago or more, I replaced the little, there's the throttle cable on my Husqvarna is like in two sections. There's like the one that's back there on the carburetor that kind of pulls it, pulls your, your carburetor. And then like, maybe like, halfway between the motor and the handle it like connects to another cable and then that cable goes up to your trigger and uh a year ago i had to replace that and uh took all of it apart because i didn't even know that it was a two-piece thing and thankfully i happened to order the right one and uh but anyway right back at the carburetor where it pulls it and where the cable goes into the little sleeve of it it kind of wears it and it like frays it and then eventually it breaks and so this is a year later 
you know, and I run that thing 12 months a year. I mean, I run it hard. So the other day, that same cable broke again. So I had to, so I ordered it, you know, not a big deal, I guess. It's a pain though, and it's frustrating because it's something, you know, replacing something that you've already replaced before. Oh yeah, and the, uh, the beard. I, I shaved it like five this morning. My wife doesn't even know that I did this, so. Because she likes me to have the beard. I guess it keeps me from looking like I'm 12, right? But, so, we'll have to see how that goes later when I get home. But, we're about to hit this yard. But, yeah, I just, uh, it is comforting if you can have two of everything. You don't really need more than that. But, you just need, I think you need two of everything. Especially if you're full-time, like me. I'm, I'm totally full-time, so definitely need two. If you're part-time, you know, maybe you can... If something breaks, you know, you could move your route, you know, a couple days here or there to make it work. Even then, it's going to be kind of hard because you probably have another job too, you know. So even then, you may, you know, you may should try to find something used, get two of things in the future. Um, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I think we all need to at least have two of everything. So that's what I always try to think of. Um, you know, I got the two push mowers. I got two big mowers. Um... You know, I got a couple, you know, so I'm back running the old, uh, old faithful here. And I don't have my, uh, equipment defender, the aluminum blocks on there. So I, cause I should have that part in a couple days and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go through the trouble of changing them. So I just have it laying right there and the end just laying up on one of those hooks where the hand blower goes, but it just kind of at least keeps it over there. <laughs> and look at this thing I made. Isn't this cool? So that's one thing I love about these enclosed trailers is it's, you know, it's, it's infinite it's basically infinity all the things you could make out of wood that can accommodate what you need and so you know if i'm on an uneven spot you know this one's not too bad you're only about a half inch so it's hardly no flex but if you want to keep from ruining your gate if it's you know if it's a more of a pitch if you got three inches over here you need to put i keep that block with me i've done it for years as you can see man I've, the thing's road worn it's not even as big as it once was because you know i've done it so many times but if you just keep that block with you, it will make your gate last a lot longer. Whether you have an open trailer or enclosed trailer, you don't want this thing flexing too much. You know, you need to do this hundreds of times a year, you're going to have some problems. So, something to think about, but I made this little holder uh, with this wood. As you can see, real simple, not into it. And it holds it because, you know, some yards, like this yard, I don't need it. And so, you end up throwing it right here, and then as you drive down the road, it vibrates over here, and you run over it with the mower, and it gets all in your way, and... All that stuff. So you just set it over there and just have a little holder. Nothing to it. You know, I can just grab it. And just throw it in there. Um, and I made it kind of big and loose so that way it's real easy to take in and out. And I can even walk around the side and throw it in there. Um, yeah, it's just uh, something to keep in mind. I mean, you can build it for basically free. You know, these are just some scraps of stuff that I had laying around. You know, some screws and stuff. But just one thing I love about it. All right, enough rambling. I got to quit rambling. I got to, man, I got to get to it we got to get to this yard i'm gonna film some more uh you know work here and we'll uh keep moving so enough yapping let's get to it
Guys, look at all those leaves out there on this yard. And this yard started, you can't tell on camera, but it's actually grown up pretty good. And this patch right here, right over the septic thing, always is real wet and thick. But all this is pretty good. And as you can, uh, as you can see from that other yard I did, oh, this is right here on the golf course too. So there's always, you know, golf balls. So yeah. So you, as you can see from the other yard I was mowing, uh, you know, on that hill, there's a lot of, a lot of leaves, and uh, this, uh, you know, it was like about to rain the whole day, but it never did actually rain, which was awesome. I know y'all know how awesome that is when that works out in your favor like that. I'm mowing. This is I just mowed up my favorite yard right here, because it's this. The grass in the front is flat, and. Uh, you know, down the back, I'm working on that now. It's just kind of natural area. I pick up some pine cones, do some weeds, but there's no mowing or anything back there. Um, so, it's my favorite yard to mow for whatever reason. Um, this is that new yard I got. Y'all seen me mow this before. Um, and then it's crazy because, like, the day after this is when we got all that mm -hmm. rain from the, the, was it Hurricane, is it yeah. Sally? Alley? Something like that. Um... And I still worked that day too, but man, that was a disaster. We got like five, six inches of rain, and it was just a mess just trying to, uh, you know, trying to do what I could, you know, and then it got better as, you know, as days went on after that. But, um, man, we got literally five, six inches of rain. We got dumped on. Um, but, you know it's a it's a blessing to get rain whenever you get it so you just got to be thankful for it because there's nothing else you can do about it so yeah thankfully i decided to just decide to try this uh even though i've never tried it on this yard the walker mower I usually use the push mower back here and i need to uh you know like th there's uh <laughs> fence there's fence right here River. There's some fence and some uh, bushes right here. So I really need to have the mulch kit on if I do this because I blew some grass clippings in there and I cleaned them out best I could with the blower. But, you know, as you can see over here to the right, those little beds that get grass in them because, you know, it's growing pretty good. So I just had the mulch kit off of the walker at the time of filming this video because my uh, clutch has to go in on my Snapper Pro for warranty work into the uh, back to the shop to the dealership so um i you know i got to mow my church fields and everything and so i didn't want to you know use the mulch kit on the walker for that but if everything goes smoothly on my other mowers i plan to leave the mulch kit on the walker year round that's what i want to do um i just had to take it off temporarily because like i said my other mower had to get some uh some uh, stuff done on it actually i still have to bring it and i'm still i'm still river it's okay, bud. We're just recording this video. But uh, we still... We still... Uh, uh, we're still... We're still going to bring the mower down to that dealership. Um, and I'm still working on that other demo mower. It's a stand-on mower. Y'all seen that in my last couple videos. I've been asking about it. And I'm still working with the dealer on figuring out if I'm going to buy that yet or not. Um... Yeah, this is me driving through this uh, neighborhood here. I was trying to show you guys. There's this cool spot up here where the where they hit from, and it's really cool. There's like a, a huge, uh, like a like a valley, like a dip, and the and they hit the golf balls from one side of the valley towards the people on the other side of the valley, but they're so far away from each other they can't. See up there, that far hill, it's hard to tell, but it's a steep, steep valley. Sorry, you'll see it in a minute, but they whack them towards all these people standing on that hill over there on the far side. And they're just whacking golf balls towards each other the whole day. <laughs> it's like a driving range or, you know, whatever you call it. So, um, this is me finishing up the day here. This is at my personal house. Uh... And you can't tell on this camera. Maybe you can tell in a minute, but man, this grass is tall right here. Um, you know, you're, you, 
you might can see a little, but I'm talking almost knee knee high weeds right here. And I actually mow my neighbor's yard too. Maybe you can see a little bit then. You see, I'm cutting this at two and a half. Um, on a walker, two and a half. It's really kind of like three. And uh, you can see I'm still blowing out a lot because there's a lot of, like I said, you can't tell, but like, it's like, you know, I had to like double cut and stuff. But yeah, I mow my neighbor's yard. They don't, they live out of town and they come in and uh, they don't have a mower here. And so they, what they want me to do is they like weed eat and stuff and they pay me just to like, just to keep it mowed down. So pretty cool, you know, it's like a mow and go. Like I don't even get off the mower, but you know, unless there's a stick or something that I move, but uh, really cool neighbor and uh, great folks. So thank you guys for watching my vlog.